Well, hello and how are you? Hey, friends. Welcome to the Shin Show. I am your host, Shannon Doyle Briscoe, coming to you live right here in St. Charles, Missouri, Saturday, November 19th, 2016. B-Blog number one, uh, uh, 1,051. Well, I'm not 1,000, but I am 51. Just had a birthday not too long ago. But it ain't my birthday. Today just so happens to be my little girl's birthday, little girl's boyfriend's birthday, Dan Vesquez. So, happy birthday to you, Dan. Also got a birthday going out to Aprita Das. Aprita Das. So, happy birthday, Aprita Das. So, happy birthday to you. Happy Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Apria and Dan. Happy birthday to you, Apria. That's how you pronounce it, Apria. All right. Anyway, Apria and Dan. Good birthdays. Happy, happy, happy. All right. Anywho, speaking of that, anywho's. Uh, let's see what we got going on in town today. Boy, boy, boy. Uh, make it over there to the, uh, uh, expo tonight, uh, today's the last day for it, actually, uh, tomorrow's the last day for it, so, Treasure Chest Craft Expo, uh, hey, yeah, tomorrow's the last day for it, so, We'll get a chance to get over there. The Treasure Chest Holiday Craft Expo. Coming to you right here in St. Charles, Missouri. Over at the St. Charles Convention Center. That's right. Today and tomorrow are the last two days. Doesn't, doesn't even cost anything to get in there. It's, there are over 150 boats. Filled with unique, popular, and... In demand arts and crafts, gift items, and so much more. Something for everyone on your list. Plus, there will be raffles and door prizes. Got a friend coming over here shortly from all the way out there in Mount Vernon, Illinois. And uh, so that'll be Craig and Denise Wyant will be on their way over here. So I'll be spending some time with them this evening, and I'll give you all an account of it tomorrow. Uh, and don't forget, we got some uh, festivities going on down on Main Street. Christmas traditions, Christmas carol uh, at um, Bethel, Bethel Park, Bethel Square Park, which is right there at uh, First Capitol and Main Street. Across from the First Capitol Building, next to uh, what is that a uh, restaurant there? Um, can't remember what restaurant that's next to. Wow, dog on it. Anyway, it's right next to that restaurant. You know the one that sells that uh, serves shark. Anyway, it's. Tw 221 South Main Street, St. Charles, Missouri. Admission is free. Come on down and enjoy the uh, interactive party. I mean, the interactive play of Charles Dickens's A Christmas Carol, presented by none other than Charles Dickens himself. Watch as Ebenezer Scrooge, Scrooge relives a faithful Christmas Eve night with the help of a few surprise legends of Christmas. Alrighty, and then that being said, they got all kinds of little festivities going on over to uh, down here on Main Street, starting on the 24th or 25th, I'm sorry, and just running on through. The uh, December twenty fourth. Is that right? November, yeah, November twenty fifth through December twenty third. So, 
and there's something going on on every street corner. Speaking of street corners, no, I'm not going to sing no silver bells. Just about thought about it, but there is a little action going on down on the corner, and I will sing about that. So, give me just a second. I'll sing about that. Yeah, big rockets going on down on the corner. Down on the corner, by the traffic light. Everybody's looking as she goes by. They turn their heads and they watch her till who she's gone. Lord have mercy, baby's got her blue jeans on. Up by the bus stop and across the street. They open up their windows to take a peek. And she goes walking, rocking like a rolling stone. Heaven help us, baby's got her blue jeans on. She can't help it if she's made that way. She's not to blame if they look her way. She ain't really trying to cause a scene. It just comes naturally. Now the girl can't help it. Well, up on Main Street, by the taxi stand, there's a crowd of people and a traffic jam. She don't look back. She ain't doing nothing wrong. Lord have mercy. Baby's got her blue jeans on. She can't help it if she's made that way. She's not to blame if they look her way. She ain't really trying to cause a scene. It just comes naturally. Now the girl can't help it. Down, uh, down on the corner by the traffic light. Everybody's looking. As she goes by, they turn their heads and they watch her till she's gone home. Lord have mercy, baby's got her blue jeans on. I said, heaven help us, baby's got her blue jeans on. Lord have mercy, baby's got her blue jeans on. Alrighty, alrighty, there's something else going on down on the other corner, but I'm going to get back to that in just a few seconds. Alright, here's a little bit more hanky-panky going on the, going on down around that corner. I says, early in the evening, just about supper time, over by the courthouse, they're starting to unwind. Four kids on the corner, trying to bring you up. Willie picks a tune out of, and he blows it on the harp. Down on the corner, out in the streets. Willie and the poor boys are playing, bring your nickels, tap your feet. A rooster hits the washboard, people just got to smile. The blinky tubs, the ba gut bass, and solos for a while. Poor boy twangs. The rhythm out on his kazoo, Kalamazoo, and Willie goes into a dance, double on kazoo. Down on the corner, out in the streets, Willie and the poor boys are playing, bring your nickels, tap your feet. Down on the corner, out in the street, Willie and the poor boys are playing, bring your nickels, tap your feet. You don't need a penny just to hang around. But if you've got a nickel, oh, won't you lay your money down? Over on the corner, there's a happy noise. People come from all around just watching them magic boys. I sit down on the corner, out in the streets. A Willie and the poor boys bring your, or play your, bring your nickels, tack your feet. Down on the corner. Out in the streets, Willie and the poor boys are playing, bring your nickel tap your feet. I sat down on the corner, out in the streets, Willie and the poor boys are playing, 
Bring you Nickel Tepepe. All right, I do believe that that brings us up to our part of the program called Our Daily Bread, which I do believe, because that's all the ruckus we got going down on the corner. So, let me see, just to make sure things are going on here properly. I don't want to, don't want to be doing this all in vain. Came back to sing and make sure my mute button's not on. <laughs> Can't get it to flip over here. Hold on, I'll just pause out for a second and check this. Alright, it's not muted. That's a good thing. There we go. Because that could have been a bad thing. I could have come back and started in the blog and been all muted out. And, well, you wouldn't have heard it. Anyway, uh, let's see. That's enough of the corner. We're going to go ahead and get into our portion of the program called Our Daily Bread. It's called Sky Washers. You know, you ever look up at the horizon and you see the sky and you just look at it and wonder and and the beauty of it and you just think how beautiful that is some people think well that's mother nature for you but we all know that it's God because God brought down each and lights up each and every star in the night and he calls them each by name and so therefore I'm going to read Isaiah 40, 21 through 31. Now, it's one of my favorite Bible verses because it brings hope to me, all the people that are down and unable to move completely. And if you're just down on your luck and you're lost and you'd like to refresh your life in Jesus Christ, then you'll want to jump on into Isaiah 40, 21 through 31. Now, if you're keeping up with your Bible in the year, you'll be reading Ezekiel 11 through 13 and James 1. All right, here we go. Isaiah 40, 21 through 31. Do you not have, do you not know? Have you not heard? Has it not been told to you from the beginning? Have you not understood since the earth was founded? He sits enthroned above the circle of the earth, and its people are like grasshoppers. He stretches out the heavens like a canopy, and spreads them out like a tent to live in. He brings princes to naught, and reduces the rulers of this world to nothing. No sooner are they planted, no sooner are they sown, no sooner do they take root in the ground than he blows on them and they wither and whirl winds sweep them away like shaft. To whom will you compare me or who is my equal, says the Holy One? Lift up your eyes and look to the heavens who created all of these. He who brings out the stars starry hosts one by one and calls forth each one of them by name because of his great power and mighty strength not one of them is missing why do you chaplain Jacob and why do you say Israel my way is hidden from the Lord my may my cause is disregarded by my God. Do you not know, have you not heard, the Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth? He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding not, no one can fathom. He gives us strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and yet young men stumble and fall. 
but those who wait on the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary, and yet they will walk and not be faint. So, in Jesus' mighty name, all of those of you out there that are struggling, wake up, get up, rely on the Lord, because you may go to sleep. Sorry. Because you may soar on the wings of an eagle and you may run and not grow weary and you will walk and not be faint anyway that's the uh show for the day so i'm gonna say goodbye my friends it's time to go i said goodbye my friends it's time to go i hate to leave you but i really must go goodbye my friends goodbye it's here Shenandoah Briscoe saying hello and how are you. And thanks for tuning in to the Shen Show. And you know, as always, God loves you and so do I. So be blessed in Jesus' name. And come back and see me tomorrow because, well, I'll be here. And I hope you are too. <laughs>